All right, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Thursday, June 17th. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning, and uh, I'm on the trail. Um, got up early, sort of packing up, because it's going to be a hot one today, like 90 degrees, high humidity. The next four or five days are all low 90s, high 80s, high humidity days. So it's, uh, it's going to be a long day. And then, uh, like I said, today is like uh, at least a 20-mile hike on just that old country back road, which just feel like they're hot. There's no shade because it's all farmland. At least looking at my map, it doesn't look like there's much uh, shade or um, places to camp. So uh, it looks like I'm going to have a long day today. Um, I slept pretty good last night, no, normal. Uh, my knees and my, my feet were actually hurting last night throughout the night. I don't know what that's about. Maybe dehydration. I don't know. I didn't do that much work yesterday and I sat I'm sitting around. I drank three liters just sitting there. But I mean, three liters of fluid is really nothing, I guess. All right, I'm on this trail for uh, not many miles at all. Um, it actually goes to uh, Converse, which I'm like, say I get off the trail, say like I get off the trail here, Meyer, and I go down and over and then up to a nickel plate. I could take this and uh, the extra like five miles instead of road walking, but then I have to come down two miles and in on the trail. So I'm just gonna break off I'm supposed to and go over. But, uh, my time on a paved trail is coming to an end. This is nice. You know, I'm getting old. I like the railroad stuff. All right, I'm in uh, Sweester, uh, Indiana. I'm only uh, two miles in. Um, there's a Dollar General right up the street here about a mile, so I'm gonna go hit that up. Look at this, this is what I'm talking about cell phone charging station that's awesome that's exactly what i need so i'm gonna uh a couple outlets look at that nice little american discovery trail trail that's all right i'm gonna go to a dollar general stock up come back here sit in the shade even though um yeah i shouldn't be wasting too much time let's see what's over here this is a nice nice little uh, town a little cafe over there all right, 9.45, guys. I'm leaving the town of uh, Schweitzer. I'm on the uh, switch trail. Like I said, I'm only on this for a couple miles, and then uh, it's all um, farm roads for about 20 miles or so until I get to the nickel plate trail. Um, I got about an hour's worth of power, a little longer, because I got the Dollar General. It didn't open for about 20 minutes. So I got, about, let's say, an hour and a half of power. Uh, my phone's at 100, but, you know, my battery bank just sucks that up. But, but I can't not complain about power. I've used, I've had my phone on basically all day for the last, you're good, brother. I've had my phone on for uh, all day easily for the last, what today, day eight, for at least the last six days. I want to say it at Dollar General, I stocked up on um, food. <clears throat> so I did a food resupply because I was running relatively low. I got more tortilla shells. More of them like uh, star kiss chicken sides. Got uh, five more of them, uh, you know, sweet tarts. I bought a can of this easy cheese and a sleeve of crackers and just some nonsense. I bought some beef roni, I just ate for breakfast, some pop tarts. Anyway, I got uh, four liters of fluid on me, which I only like to carry, well, two is ideal, but uh, on these long stretches, I usually like to have a three and then with the heat today, I'd go to four. So it's, it's my pack's heavy is what I'm saying. Four liters is a lot. That's eight pounds of just in fluid. All right. So I'm uh, five miles in. Still making my way along this, uh, coming to the end of it. Uh, just got an email or a text message from uh, T-Mobile telling me that for the last two months, I've used excessive roaming. And if it continues one more month, that they're going to terminate my line. What? What? I don't even know what I'm roaming. It's just always telling me I got service when I use my phone. Um, so it's always something. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I go online and look, and it seems like there's not a whole lot of options you have. It's just going to terminate your line. So 
I guess I'll be getting a new phone service it's here next month. All right, off the trail. Um, now I begin my long, uh, like 20 miles or so of uh, road walking before I get to the next uh, nickel plate trail. So we'll see what I cross if I get, uh, you know, halfway through the day and my water situation looks good because there's a, when I hit the next trail in about 20 some miles, um, there's a little town, I think a convenience store. So, but if I'm like halfway there or whatever, I mean, I'll take a dip by a time, but if I find a good camping spot and my water situation's good, I can always stop early. I don't have to make it to that trail if I find a good place to camp, so. All right, it's 12, oh my name, it's 12, 15 and uh, I'm 10 miles in and uh, my uh, knees, actually my, not the knee that's been clicking, but my other knee, man, is uh, it's a little very sore. I'll take a couple steps and then just kind of gives out a little bit and then a couple steps and gives out a little bit, but I'm making progress. As you see, I'm just on these uh, all farmland, middle of nowhere, quiet roads. <laughs> it's at 2.20 in the afternoon. I'm uh, 17 miles in and uh, this is what I've been looking at. Ooh. It's hot out here. I got the umbrella out. I've been using it on and off. I think I got another uh, five miles or so to go till I get uh, um, to the town. It has a convenience store in it. I got about a, I got two liters of fluid left, but one there, uh, one is so hot. I don't know if I'm gonna go drink it. And. Uh, so, and then after that, I got another two or three miles after that to get to the uh, trailhead. All right, guys, it's uh, 4.15. I'm at 22 miles in. Whew, and it's still hot out. And I'm still struggling. I mean, I'm making good pace. I haven't dipped below three miles an hour. It's just, uh, it's been a long day. And uh, I'm in the home stretch now. Though. I got uh, like two more miles to go so I can break off to the left and hit a convenience store, it says in town, even though my phone's not telling me anything's in town. It's telling me uh, like 10 miles away, but my phone's always wrong. Um, so I'm probably definitely gonna hit that. I just filled up out of a little creek. I stopped at a church before that. So I've been replenishing my water as I go. All right, guys, it's uh, <clears throat> 4.48 and I am 24 miles in. Sorry, I was looking at my watch. I just made it to the nickel plate trail. So as I thought, it's the same thing as the uh, whew, uh, the other trail. Um, I didn't go to the convenience store because there's not much information on my map and my map's outdated and I can't find any. The only thing I can find on Google is a, um, a grocery store, which closes before I be able to get there. So I'll pass another, uh, couple miles up where I can get another convenience store so my map says um, I might be tomorrow right now I'm looking for a, a place to shut it down but uh, we're passing people's properties real close so I don't think I'm gonna find a place anytime soon but I'm gonna find a bench or something here in a minute and just sit down in the shade and take a break for a little while looks like I'll be camping right down there when I just came in that uh, at the end over there you can I don't know if you can see it but that's where I came in at right down there um, there actually is a, a gas station down that way about a six tenths of a mile i just finally found up i just finally popped up on my gear map so uh, I'm, I'm not going there tonight i'm done um i don't know pretty sure i'm done but uh in the morning i my next trailhead i passed there's also another uh, uh gas station so i'll probably just hit that up in the morning all right guys nine o'clock um, the trail is uh, just up over that hill, a little patch of wood. So it's like uh, 20 yards away, but no one can see me down here. I'm actually, there's actually a fence that runs along here, but uh, there's a tree up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you can see where it fell off. A tree fell and it smashed the uh, fence down. So I hopped the fence, came down this little gully because it was not too overgrown. It's all cornfields there. So I'm, I'm on someone's property, stealth camping. Just this, it's better down here as it can't be seen. Uh, we got thunderstorms coming uh, around 3 a.m. and then on and off all day tomorrow. So, of course, I set my tent up on dirt <laughs> so I'll get the rain splashes and all. But it's a pretty good spot. I don't have to worry about ticks too much. I fell down the hill earlier when I was going to my first spot I was going to camp at, 
and ended up being too, uh, it was like this dirt bottom, but it was all still wet, so it was mud, and I was sinking it, but as I was going, I fell, cut my whole arm up, I'm like completely filthy now from rolling around the gravel, it was funny, but uh, long day today, um, ended up doing, I forget already, what, 26 miles, 25, 26 miles, something like that, 20, something, it was, it was over 20, right, um, and then I ended up, even after I gave you the last video, I ended up doing like an extra mile on top of that. So whatever I said, it's, you know, whatever. But, uh, good night. I'll be on the, uh, nickel, the nickel plate trail for, uh, probably two days, maybe three if I can do short days, but we'll see. Right, good morning, everybody. It's that uh, Friday, June 18th. 18th, does that make sense? I don't even know. 18th sounds late. Yeah, it's 18th. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> 7 15 in the morning just leaving uh my sleeping spot back there it's been a uh, thundering and lightning and getting dark well it hasn't really got light yet from being dark but it's been thundering and lightning about the last 40 minutes uh there's basically a 30 percent to 40 percent chance of thunderstorms scattered throughout the whole day today tomorrow and the next day it's going up to 93 today but about 90 percent humidity so um i took the tights off uh just because i think my legs yeah, see my i when I get sunburned, even, it really has to be super bad for it to be bad. But usually what happens is I'll get, like, red sunburn for a day and it turns into a tan. At least that's how it's been over the years. So my legs bounce back pretty quick. Um, I'm filthy. I mean, I'm so filthy. Today's, what, my ninth day out, I think. I'm just filthy. <sighs> yep, it's pouring out on me. Um, this umbrella is just a little small to keep me protected, but... It works good for the sun, but uh, you know my legs are getting soaked, and my one of my arms I can't get keep them both tucked in. So, but it's doing a good job in my upper body overall. All right, I see a gas station down there. In the distance, so I'll go up here to the trailhead and make a left. Go stock up with some fluids. Woo. Getting windy out, but it's getting nasty. Looks like it's coming in. Dark over there, light where I'm at, it's coming in. Uh, this little umbrella, man, it feels like it's gonna fall apart at any second, but it's hold, it holds up. Knock on wood. Look at this cloud. Some intense lightning was happening a couple minutes ago. I'm sitting here getting some power. Uh, it's relaxing outside this gas station. It's supposed to pass and I just got a heat warning index. It's gonna feel like it's over 100 degrees this afternoon. Right now it's beautiful. It's like 70 degrees, windy. Actually, honestly, a little chilly. But uh, it's gonna change real quick. I've been counting four liters of fluid because I feel like I needed it because of the heat. But the problem is that that third and fourth bottle gets so hot so quick, I can't drink them. So I'm bringing four with me now. I'm going to drink the other two relatively quick and just uh, try to maintain two. Hopefully I pass some water sources today. But worst case scenario, I'll be passing another uh, town with a gas station in about 13 miles. So Let's see what happens. Look at that. All right, guys, 930. As you can see, the uh, sky is looking much better. I'm two miles in. Just had to restart my uh, watch because I forgot to turn it off the whole time I was there. Not that it really matters. It just uh, messes up my head because since I sat there, the mileage wasn't going up, but the time was. So it would have my uh, my average uh, pace. It would have it down at like two miles an hour, even though I'm moving pretty well. So reset my watch. And I just got to remember all day to add two miles to whatever I'm at. Um, good stop. Had a couple people ask me... Uh, you know, nice people ask me if I'm stranded, if I need a ride because of the weather. A couple people, you know, people are actually, when they hear your, what you're doing, they're, uh, a lot of people are nice. Still got the dirty looks from a lot of people, though, too, but I am absolutely filthy. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, I'll leave you alone. All right, All right 11.30. And I'm uh, seven miles in. Just starting to really warm up and get sticky here in the sun. As uh, the whole trail has been, it's just not, there's nowhere to camp at. I mean, 
I could probably get in, you know, some of these spots in here and squeeze in, but I'd be in tick heaven and uh, I just put a little bug spray on because the, the mosquitoes and the flies are horrible if there's a little rain. Um, I only got a tiny little bit of bug spray left. I'm not wearing my tights, so I really don't feel like uh, hopping down in the woods. thunder rolling by it's at uh, 2 30 i decided to stop here at this bridge and just call it a day i'm 10 miles in trails right up there but uh with all the storms rolling in i figure i can uh, camp out under the bridge while it's storming and set my tent up somewhere around here i got a water source with this heat it's just no point in pushing it today it's, uh, it's been thunder rolling by like this for the last half hour All right, well, I'm under this claustrophobic, uncomfortable, out rock filled under the bridge, but it's staying dry. But I'm fighting the bugs, no bug spray. But it's breezy right now, so it helps with the bugs. Um, after the storm passes, it's supposed to jump up in temperature a couple of degrees and get extremely hot and sticky for a couple hours. All right, guys, it's uh, 8:40 on. Uh, I don't even know what it is. It's a Friday. I'm not sure. I forget already. <laughs> Um, I spent the day pretty much uh, under the bridge, just relaxing and napping all day. Uh, storms on and off. Uh, I stayed cool even though it was 100 degrees out. I was in the shade and I wasn't moving. I didn't even drink that much today. Uh, the four liters of fluid I had since I left the gas station, what, eight miles ago. That last me, I still got a, uh, about a half a liter left. I didn't have to get any water yet. So tomorrow morning I'll stock up on water. I'll hit town. Uh, my power is running now. My battery bank just went down to two dots. Uh, my phone's at 70%, so I got about two more charges, full charges on my phone. I've been using electricity like crazy, though. I know I talk about it all the time, but I've just been, on this stretch in Indiana, I've been using my phone all day, listening to books and whatnot. Um, on a little bit of a slant up there, but it'll do. Uh, it looks like it's going to be storming in the morning, so we'll see how the morning goes. All right, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, June 19th. Um, that's where I have my tent down there. I don't know how well it's coming up with the lack of light, but, uh, I spent my, most of my time under the bridge. I put my tent there late last night around nine. And then, uh, I actually slept pretty good. Um, there were so many animals, which is to be expected. I'm right on a creek and a bridge. So, you know, it's just a natural gathering spot. I mean, um, possums, raccoons, skunks. I had a fox. Pretty sure I seen some coyotes running off. It was a busy night animal wise. I'd wake up and hear something like snorting or growling. And I, you know, I, uh, I tend to yell in my sleep a lot anyway. So most of the time the animals get scared away. Um, only thing I worry about is a skunk, to be honest with you here. You know, I just, I never have, but in theory, I just grab a possum and throw it. Raccoons won't bother you. They're just looking for something to eat. So just the skunk that bother me. And the fishing I could have did along this trail if I would have brought my fishing gear. All right, guys, it's at 1.30. Um, just cutting through the town of Peru, Indiana. Uh, I got about another half mile left on the nickel, uh, nickel plate trail. Then I got to go through town for three miles, and then I'll be back on the nickel plate trail. Um, I'm not going to do much hiking today, I don't think, because it's the heat of the day. I just spent five hours in front of Kroger five <laughs> i only want to get two hours but no one said anything to me so i just stayed out there um got my phone fully charged obviously my watch is fully charged uh, my battery bank that thing just sucks electric like i wanted to stay there once i started going i'm like man i've been here for three hours four hours i just wanted to get it to the fourth dot got some energy 
but uh, I took it from two dots to uh, that third dot got about three solid hours on it. So I should have at least three full phone charges out of it, if not a little more. Um, uh, I guess I look absolutely filthy, but I know I do. I haven't, I haven't showered in 10 days, but uh, two people came up to me and gave me $5 each. I tried to explain to them that I'm not a bum, I'm a hiker. I guess I am a bum, but um, they didn't want to hear it. They gave me the money and said, God bless, and left. So that was very nice. And then when I finally left Kroger and I went across the street to the Kroger grass station to buy some uh, Gatorade and uh, some chewing tobacco. And I know it's disgusting and I'm trying to quit. I don't know if you've been noticing, but I've been having it in less and less. Anyway, um, it's like a $16 bill. And the lady said she's got it covered. I'm like, excuse me? She's like, I got it. And then... So I was like, thank you. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know why. And then uh, she came out and asked me if I wanted to grab any beef jerky or anything. And I'm like, ma'am, you've done more than enough. Thank you very much. I should have grabbed some beef jerky, but there's just no need. People are too nice. And then I met a guy uh, in the parking lot. He was a, a Marine, and he asked me about my uh, Marine Raider patch. We started talking, and he asked me if he could do anything for me. And I said, no, I'm good. Uh, he asked me about my social media. Um, and then he posted... Uh, about me hiking across the country on his social media. So he's got a couple thousand followers. So it's very nice. I just met a, uh, I had a run of meeting some very nice people. And it's, uh, sorry, very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. It's nice when you're running some good people. And honestly, I could, uh, I could have used the money. The $10 came in handy and that uh, $16 bill being covered came in handy. So, I mean, that's just incredible. It's funny, man. They say the trail provides, and it just usually always does somehow. Well, this train is blocking my uh, path, and it goes on forever in both directions. And I have to go that way, so no matter what way I go to catch another road, I'm going to be blocked by the train. Do I get on a rail and climb over? Well, I waited 10 minutes and then I decided to climb over. <laughs> and honestly, it took a, I had to motivate myself. So I don't know if I'm cut out for uh, riding the rails like I've always wanted to do. If it just took me 10 minutes to uh, literally just climb over one. <laughs> I just remember last time I even got close to that one a couple days ago. As soon as I got close to it, it moved, man. And, and it started moving a little faster than I thought it would for just starting out. But I'm over, no problem. Head up the road up there, make a right, get back on the trail. All right, guys, it's at 3.30. I just did five miles from uh, town to get here. I thought it was a little shorter than that, but it ended up being five miles. And then, uh, so that's eight miles for the day. Um, I'm going to uh, sit down there on this bench in this beautiful shade and uh, go over my map and figure out uh, my plan for the next couple days. Because like I said, I think I have somewhere around 20 miles of this trail left. And then it's like a, like a 25, 30 mile gap of uh, back roads and to, um, uh, to get to the next trail. So I'm probably going to stop here. Well, I know I'm going to stop soon because I'm already worried. Just that hike in the middle of the day is uh, in this heat is not a good time. Um, but the shade, this trail is pretty shaded. So anyway, I'm going to try to find a camping spot. I know that relatively soon. And then I'm probably going to hike a majority of the trail tomorrow, stop short in a camping spot. And then that way I can get up early the next day and then knock out that uh, long stretch of uh, back roads until I get to another trail. All right, just did the, looked at my map. I have 18, like 18 and a half miles of this trail left. And that's like me using my finger on my map. So, you know, give or take a little bit. Usually get, add a little more than that. And then I have 28 miles of back roads. So that's going to be a very long, uh, what's today, Saturday? Very long Monday. Um, so hopefully I can find a place along that 28 miles. Because I haven't done 28 miles yet, I don't think. Or I've been close to it. But uh, hopefully I can find a place along there. Maybe break that into two days. But that's the plan for now. So uh, camp early today. Knock out, uh, you know, just shy 18 miles tomorrow. Camp along this trail, hopefully. And then uh, figure out all the back roads. I'll be passing a major town, too. So it's not all... It's not all um, farmland but I'll be going through Rochester and then uh, mostly farmland.
don't know how well it's coming up on the phone, but it's like seven o'clock and I, I'm just taking a nap right here on the ground. And I'm obviously set up near a racetrack of some kind. So I thought I heard people talking, but it was like real mumbled something. I think it was a loudspeaker and then I heard this, so. Should be, uh, it ain't gonna bother me one bit when I go to bed tonight, but I'll wait another uh, hour and a half or so. It looks like the rain's gonna hold off tonight until later tonight, but I'll wait about another hour and a half to set my tent up. There's that cornfield right about 50 yards through the woods. The cornfield and the trail is only uh, like tw 20 yards behind me, but it's down a little hill. If I'm laying down, no one can see me, but when I'm standing up, someone could probably see me when they come down the trail. All right, guys, nine o'clock, Saturday night. Races are still going on, whatever whatever that is. Um, it's been quiet back here though, besides that. Got the tent set up. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna just climb in there. I mean, I've actually been chilly for the last like hour or so with the wind blowing and I was, I guess I was still wet. My mat holds that the moisture, so. Like condensation on it. It's that wind blowing. I was actually getting chilly and it was 80 some degrees out. But uh, I'm going to climb in here and I call it a night. Uh, tomorrow, knock out around uh, 18 miles or so. And then uh, the following day, I got another big day. Um, hopefully grab some power again. Got to stay on top. That's so I still got 12 days out here or something like that. So I got to stay on top of this power issue. Um, I was looking at my map. Uh, that other trail, after I get off this, I told you I go get off the nickel plate trail on 18 miles. And then I hit... Um, like farmland for 25 miles the next trail is only like eight miles and then it's more cutting through farmland again for the rest of indiana and then i cross over into illinois so we're getting there guys we're getting there all right we'll see everyone in the morning all right good morning everybody happy father's day it's at uh, 6 50 in the morning on sunday june 20th um i got out of there a little earlier today uh two slow days in a row with naps in both afternoons i just could i didn't sleep very well last night but uh i'm on a trail um i think i'm passing a town here in about five miles a small little town with a gas station hopefully i can get some electricity uh if not hopefully i can get some solar energy in today uh got to keep on top of it i still got uh 20 i got like 11 days left out here but i'm doing quite well uh, i mean usually 11 days in I, I don't i think the most i've done so far is 10 days in <laughs> So this is my longest stretch, and I've been pretty much positive, so no complaints. Uh, I'm uh, absolutely filthy. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, 18 miles of trail left, and then a uh, long uh, farm road walk for like 25 miles, and then only like eight miles of trail again, and then uh, I don't know how many miles left, but uh, that'll be the end of uh, Indiana. All right, guys, it's 8.30. I'm uh, four miles in, about another mile and a half. I hit this little town of uh, Denver, uh, Denver, Indiana. Uh, hopefully there's a gas station in there. And my map says there's uh, gas and lodging there, but it's a tiny little town. Um, we'll talk about gear. Uh, my shoes are, uh, I mean, my shoes are only, what, three weeks old now? And they're uh, extremely bare. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe how quick they wore out, but I guess that's from uh, me putting on all these miles on. It's been all cement, so uh, I guess I'm rubbing down my shoes. Um, I don't know, a couple of, couple of days ago, I said that I smell like a wet Band-Aid. And then yesterday, my toes were hurt, and I'm like, why are my toes hurting? I barely walked any miles. Um, I've realized I had tape on there from when I first stepped out. And what, what am I, I'm on like day 12 or something today? And I've had the same tape on there, so... I took the tape off my toes last night, finally let my feet, you know, dry out in the tent as much as possible that you can do with high humidity and rain. Uh, so my toes feel a lot better. Rewrapped them this morning. Um, I wrap each one individually. Uh, that KT tape is, it works great, but it's a little thin. So I'll put that on. And then usually uh, probably tomorrow I'll put a layer of Aluco tape on top on the, uh, the bad toes.
All right, nine o'clock guys, I'm five miles in. Uh, this is Denver. Um, actually, the only thing I can find in this town is a uh, pizzeria, so. That's a little ballpark, uh, ballpark right here, so, and they got electricity and they have a uh, water, so I'm good. I refilled up on water, I'm gonna wash my socks, I'm gonna charge up some stuff and uh, air out my tent and my sleeping bag. Hope I can get an hour here before uh, somebody comes and kicks me out. This house is right across the street. Probably not gonna, you know, like a bum sitting in the uh, playground getting electricity, but we'll see. All right, let's see how long I can stay here for. All right, guys, it's a uh, quarter to one. Uh, I spent just shy of four hours there. Um, dried out all my gear. I washed my socks, washed my face, my hair. When I say wash, I just use water. That's all I got, but it feels better, so. I got another pair of socks to change into. Um, I uh, topped off my watch again. Obviously, my phone's at 100% as I was listening to the podcast. Um, I feel like I didn't check that place, I know, even though I know I did. I actually got my battery bank. <clears throat> um, it actually, the fourth, the fourth light started blinking. I was all excited. So that got uh, uh, about two hours of uh, the fourth light blinking, even though it usually takes like, I think, six hours just alone on the fourth light. Yeah, I'm good. Everything's going. All right. Um, so it was a good stop. Uh, the rain's coming at three. It's going to have thunderstorms and rain from like three to nine. Then it's going to stop. And then uh, some sometime overnight, it's going to pick back up and stop tomorrow morning around seven. That's what it says. So we'll see what happens. Looks like I'll be setting up in the rain. But I'm five miles in. Um, got about, we'll call it 15, but it's a little less. Probably like uh 13 miles of this trail left. It's 2.15. I'm uh, four miles in on the, uh, since I restarted, so uh, nine miles total. And I'm, uh, just, I'm struggling this afternoon. It's just not, it's just one of them days. It's uh, heat and humidity. I just can't get comfortable on my back. I got the umbrella out. The umbrella is helping a lot with the sun, but it's just hot, so uh, I'm moving slow. Uh, Knees are sore, blah, blah. I'm just uh, a little sore today. I don't know why. The last two days, I, I've taken it easy. So I figure today should be a, a, an easy day as far as my body besides the heat. But my knees are sore. That's yeah, just one of them days it's going to happen. All right, 3.30, guys. Uh, don't want my break. I'm um, getting back on the trail. I got like another 10 miles to go to a nature preserve where I was planning on camping. That's pretty much the end of this trail. It might be another like mile and a half after that, but... Um, I don't think I got 10 miles in me, to be honest with you. I'm just not feeling it today. Uh, I'm having a little toothache, headache. I got just some blah, blah, blah. But um, I think a lot of it's that uh, I didn't, I barely drank anything yesterday because I, I got a lot of power and I sat in front of the grocery store and I didn't hydrate. And then I didn't hike a lot. So I think I'm paying for that today, especially in this humidity. So um, I don't know. We'll see what I got, but... All right, guys, it's uh, 4 o'clock, I think. Hold on, let me get uh, 4.06. The trail's right up there. Uh, there's farmland behind me here, and but there's a like a path they can drive down on the outskirts of it. So somebody drives down that, they're definitely going to see me here. Um, oh, I'm done. I just, I don't got it today. Just, uh, just definitely don't got it today. Just weak, this humidity. So uh, I'm just going to call it here. Rain's coming, but I'm, I can't set my tent up because it'll be seen here. So I'm just going to sit here for the next four or five hours and then set my tent up. So I hope maybe the rain will actually hold off till later tonight. All right, guys, 6.30. I'm going to uh, set my tent up right here. As you can see, there's uh, some farm in that building in the background. There's a farm uh, cornfield there. Trail's right there. But uh, thunder's rolling in, and I just got a, a weather alert for severe thunderstorms from... Uh, Basically, like, right now to, uh, like, 3 in the morning. Um, tomorrow, we're going to have some thunderstorms till like, early in the afternoon. And tomorrow's only going up to 70. Now, tomorrow night's going down to 49. Woo! Can't wait to sleep in that. So, tomorrow's going to be a good day to hike, although I can't really go that far unless, I, unless I'm willing to do 40 miles. So, I got to maybe find somewhere on the map that I can shoot for to camp at so I can do more than just 8 miles that's left on here. And then the following day is also going to be 70 degrees and dry. So uh, the next two days are going to be beautiful for hiking, but like I said, tomorrow possibly isn't looking like another, it's going to be another small day of maybe eight miles. All right, it's uh, 3 a.m. and uh, it's 
definitely the worst storm that I've had to sleep through out here. Thunder, lightning, high winds, fun times in the tent. Everything's everything's tight right now. A little splashback happening. A little splashing, but no complaints. Woo! Good morning, everybody. It's uh, 6.45. On uh, Monday, June 21st, um, it was a wet and stormy night. Um, I actually slept pretty good up until about three when that storm came in. Then I was pretty much done. Um, I am absolutely just filthy. You know, the rain, just no way to pack it up. Just rolling up the tent alone will make you filthy. So all my gear is soaked. <laughs> I'm filthy. It's only going up to like a couple of degrees warmer than it is right now, like 72 today. It's going down to 49 tonight. The next three days are at high 70s, low 80s. So, should be some nice days. Um, I woke up this morning. I mean, when I got out of the tent, I was just super, super anxious. And I don't know why. Oh, I'm trying to calm down now. I just, uh, I think today's plan is going to be I'm going to hike about the eight and a half miles to this nature preserve. And then I'm probably going to do another two miles in the Rochester, try to get some electricity. And then hike back, hopefully, to the Nature Preserve and camp. And then uh, start off on that 30-mile trek tomorrow. It's just Indiana has, like, nowhere to camp. It's just where I'm at is all farmland. I mean, you could see, like, and this is on a trail. You know, I got this tiny little patch of woods, and then it's more farmland on the other side. But when you're walking through towns, it's more like this. You can't walk through their crops to get to this section of woods. It's just, it's just difficult camping, so... I got a long stretch coming up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But even though sometimes you find just a little patch that works. So who knows? Maybe I'll get some miles in and be able to stop short. Little guy. Dirty like me. Uh, 7.15. And I'm already taking a break. Um. I just, uh, I just literally have no energy today. I ate, I drank a carnation and some breakfast for breakfast, so I got some energy in me. I just, I have none. It's funny because I, I look at all these uh, hiking Instagrams and stuff, and it's all pretty and beautiful, and, uh, and nobody ever shows this stuff, man. I, I, mean, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that goes through it. Maybe I'm just mentally weak, but I just don't got it today. And all I got to do really is, uh, eight, you know, honestly, all I got to do is eight miles to get to a nature reserve. So, I don't know. But I, I've been out here for a long stretch now. I mean, today's either my 13th or 14th day out. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> so, I've been out for a while, but longer than I have before. And I, I've been feeling good. Uh, yesterday caught up to me and today. That, and, but uh, before that, I was, I was moving. I was feeling well. Moving good. Doing good mileage. Ugh. And this phone case is so filthy and my phone's so shattered. I can't tell if what you're looking at is blurry or it's just me looking at my screen that's shattered and my outside of my case is dirty. It's pretty dirty. I don't, what is this, a grainer, I think, or something like that, right? Store grain there and I think then you shoot the grain out and you fill up the trucks right there. My verbiage might be wrong, but it's something along them lines. All right, guys, 1036. Um, I'm like six miles in, seven miles in, something like that. Just air, drying out my gear. Uh, my tent is just a, a complete muddy, wet mess. I mean, you can't, I mean, you can see me. I don't know how well it's coming up, but I'm filthy. And it's just impossible to roll, you know, put this tent away without getting filthy. It's, uh, ugh, it's horrible. Probably don't want to drag it across that wood too much. That's just from sitting in dirt, and when it rains, the dirt becomes mud, and you get all the splash up. I will say this. Um, I've never had a regular tent, so I don't know. Well, in the Marine Corps, I did, but I was in California, and it never rains there. But uh, the DCF does dry out super quick, so that'll go from a muddy, wet mess to a relative. It'll be dry and relatively clean in a couple minutes, so I will give it that. Like, once all this dirt dries, it'll come off for the most part. But, I mean, you can see I'm just, it's filthy.
All right, guys, it's, uh, what time is it? 12 o'clock. And uh, in case you can't tell, uh, my mood is picked up. Actually, I started feeling a little better earlier. When, uh, is that a black cat? What is, I, th I thought that was a fisher for a second. My phone's probably not zoomed in enough to see that. It's not moving like a cat. Um, my mood picked up. I started feeling better earlier. I think the anxiety just had to pass. I, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I, uh, it's embarrassing to say it, actually, being a grown man. Big combat vet. I used to be a bug cop, blah, 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 but I struggle with anxiety. I guess that's a cat, but um, my mood was picking up. I was feeling better. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> an angel came down from heaven and blessed me, and uh, I'm going to a hotel right now. I'm going to the Quality Inn for one night. I've never done a one-night stay. It's going to be fabulous, though, because I... This uh, 13 days in without taking a shower, I'm pretty excited to, you know, charge up my batteries, get everything to go. And then when I come out tomorrow, it's a cat. Um, when I come out tomorrow, I'll have nine days left of, uh, and I got about 90 miles left of Indiana. So I've been blessed with this hotel room. I'm going to go enjoy it. Just shovel some uh, Taco Bell because there's one at Taco Bell right next to it. Shovel about 30 pounds of Taco Bell on my face. And uh, take a shower, do some laundry, charge on my batteries. I'm not a cat guy. If you bite me, hey, oh, you're a home cat. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Oh, you got some uh, burrs in you. So I put a collar on you. I need to comb you out. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm going to take advantage of this fully. And, uh, uh, charge up my batteries it'll be nice because i got like i said i'm, I'm bouncing all over because i got nine days left so right, let's try saying that again yeah so i'm going to take advantage of the hotel uh clean myself do my laundry clean my gear and then uh relax as much as i can shovel taco bell on my face like i already said uh maybe get a pizza i do a food resupply and then i'm going to uh, come out tomorrow and tackle this nine days left um I have about 90 miles left of Indiana, so, uh, you know, depending on how it goes, uh, you know, six days or so, maybe five days, so we'll see, but, uh, so I should definitely be uh, in Illinois for a couple days before I take my next break on the first, so, there we go, that's the plan right now, on my way there, about another three miles to go to I get to the hotel.